And she says, I'm well-traveled. And I'm like, that's not what we want. Really, you went to South Padre Island yeah. every year while you were in Texas? Like, I know what people do in South Padre Island. You're 23, she's 23, she just graduated from college and she has no interest in you at all. And then all of a sudden you've done something awesome with your life and she's like, hey, I missed you. And I'm like, you didn't have my number. Like, yeah. you missed me? It's been right. 10 years. I see the same thing. It's like down the line because you you hold the course. Other people look back and they're like, I always knew you were going to make yes. it. I'm like, you did not always know I was going the, to make the it. The only difference in that, Michael, yeah. and you'll appreciate that, is that so that 23-year-old girl that didn't really pay you attention when you were 23, mm -hmm. and next thing you know, you're 33, and she's 33, and she's like, oh, you know, like you look so good. You're so grown up. I hear oh, there's all this success. Yeah. You know, we should hang out sometime. I'm like, I'm actually going to go out hanging out with the 23 year old. Yes. Okay. Because no disrespect to you. Love you. You're great. But you didn't want me when I had nothing going on. Why would I give you the time of day now? And now I can show this 23 year old girl, the world, you know, that everything you're doing with your girl these days. So there's an expiration date on some of these girls. That's why I'm a huge advocate I, I, my best friends are going to probably get upset because they've all married a lot of the girls that they went to college with and have been yeah. forever. But I think unless you don't fall in love with your high school, college, sweetheart, all that, the best thing to do is kind of like what we're, we're doing. Be in your late 30s, early 40s, make the, become the best version of yourself. And then the, there's just wide open sea of women out there. You can show them the world rather than like, um, them in like you've been on dates where a girl's like, yeah, I've already been to Aspen. Like, I've eaten at this restaurant. Yeah. Right? It's like, like you can just like literally see the creepy dude she was on a date with in Aspen. In your mind, you can literally see the fat, greasy guys she was on the boat with in Monaco. You can see <laughs> them in your mind. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you just you bought your own trip to Ibiza. You can like sure. literally see. Right. It's your own private jet yeah, the, that you were the, on, the, of the, course. You can just, like, in your mind, you can see him. And then when you actually do see him, he looks just like what you thought. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and so I, I'm totally, I agree with you. This is like a new industry now, right? Fresh and Fit, whatever podcast, uh, your show, um, Access Vegas, or Pearly Things, where there's a panel of women. Yeah. And the women, it, inevitably, there is one woman in the group who, for some reason, is un, in, unsatisfied with her life. You and I know why, but she doesn't. And she says, I'm well-traveled. And I'm like, that's not what we want. Uh, we don't like that you're well. Really, you went to South Padre Island yes. every year during while you were in Texas. Like, I know what people do in South Padre Island. I know why you ended up in uh, Cabo. I understand what you were doing in Tulum. You did not buy those bottles. And if you did, then it's even worse because no one's going to believe that you didn't with anyone for those for those situations you, you see what i'm saying and like a lot of the girls don't grasp that the, the, the dichotomy is this i am so in favor of um women want if they want to pursue a career you know two master's degrees whatever becoming a professor if that's what that makes them happy that's fine yeah. the science is showing us that is not what's making them happy but if they believe that that's what makes them happy that's fine what i what i have a problem with is then those same women come back and they're like where's my man why didn't god send me the man that i was supposed to get and then you explain to them the fact that you're well traveled and the fact that you have multiple master's degrees and make mm -hmm. a lot of money doesn't make our it's harder for you. Like I, have to, I have to say it like that. Like, like, yes. cause I, I want to be physiological with them specific. I'm like, is it cool? Do I have a bunch of female friends that are, like have multiple degrees and are super funny and host their own podcast? I love hanging out with them. I don't want to date them. And it's hard for them to grasp that. And then they think that that's unfair. And the, the contrapositive is also unfair. The guy who's super nerdy, who is terrible with women, who thinks that he's gonna think his way into dating a girl. And then that, the, the thing that Elon Musk posts where it is more likely for a guy who has a retarded IQ under the age, of, that's their words, uh, an IQ under, under 80 to get laid than a guy who's over uh, an IQ over 130. An IQ over 130 actually hurts you with women. Yeah, an IQ course. under 80 helps you with women. And say, see how unfair that is now. Oh, wait, I thought I was super smart and I was just gonna get the girl. And why is she sleeping with Brock the bartender? That's well, because Brock doesn't give he just goes to the gym, he gets tattoos, he gives you a drink, he's up all night, he's down, to, he's fun, he's down to party, he dances, he just does fun stuff and he's good in bed. You, or you imagine that he's good in bed because of all this vibe that you get. And so you look at that and you're like, oh, you understand both sides are coping. Both sides are coping when it comes to this whole 